There's an asteroid the size of the Rose Bowl headed towards Earth. It's called Apophis, named for the Egyptian god of death and darkness. <laughs> now, it wasn't coincidental that it was named that. When this asteroid was discovered in December 2004, its trajectory was calculated based on a short segment of its orbit. Because you look from one day to the next, it's in a new place in the sky. These folks are moving. Once you saw that its trajectory would intersect the orbit of Earth, you don't name that asteroid Bambi or, like, <laughs> or Tiffany, right? You're going to give it a name befitting its... Some sense of gravity. Yes. No pun intended. Yes. That pun was surely intended. Uh, so, the reason why you never heard of it, perhaps, is because it was discovered that, that this aspect of its orbit was calculated and reported on the same week of the Indonesian tsunami. Okay. I think it was uh, end of 04 or 05, I forgot which of these two years it is. Odd thing is, if this asteroid hits in a place where it could hit, and I'll describe that in a minute, it will hit in the Pacific Ocean, it would create a tsunami in the Pacific Ocean that would make the Indonesian tsunami look like a street puddle that slightly overspilled its edges. Um, there's something called the keyhole. It'll have a close approach to Earth in the year 2029, in April, April 13th, which, by the way, is a Friday. <laughs> It will come close enough to Earth to dip below our orbiting communication satellites. For that passage, that will be the closest, largest thing we have ever observed in the history of our observing the universe. The uncertainty in its orbit at this moment is such that for that passage, there is a range of orbits it could have, which if it goes through what we're calling the keyhole, Earth's gravity on it will be just right, or rather, just wrong, just wrong, <laughs> that the next time it ra around, it will hit Earth, seven years later, April 13th. If it goes through the center of the keyhole, it'll hit the Pacific Ocean 500 kilometers due west of Santa Monica. It'll plunge into the Pacific Ocean to a depth of three miles. At that depth, it will explode, cavitating the ocean with a hole three miles wide, three miles deep. That impulse will send away a tsunami wave that will basically wipe out the entire west coast of the United States and the east coast of Asia.